Welcome back on this Veterans Day. Kasana McShepherd shows us around one of Milwaukee's hidden gems. It is the War Memorial Center on Milwaukee's lakefront. Unfortunately, I have not taken full advantage of this hidden gem. So in honor of Veterans Day, we're exploring the War Memorial Center. Well, this year, Veterans Day marks the 65th anniversary of the War Memorial Center opening to Milwaukee, yeah. to the public. Right after World War II in Korea, this was a community that wanted to build a unique memorial that's not just a memorial, but actually had offices and the art museum, everything all incorporated into it to honor our fallen, but also serve those who came home and their families. Aero Sarnen was the design, world-renowned uh, architect. The Arch in St. Louis is designed by Aero. The embassy in London that opens in the mid-50s was designed by Aero Sarnen. At Dulles Airport and JFK Airport, two terminals were designed by Aero Sarnen. So we're blessed to have a Sarnen structure in the Milwaukee community. He interviews four D-Day veterans when he's concepting what this should look like. And he wanted folks to stand at the waterfront, look back, and it's influenced as a pillbox on Normandy Beach. He wanted the society, the community, to reflect on the sacrifice of that day. So a lot of people don't know this was the original art museum, correct? The art museum was incorporated into the War Memorial Center. Yes. So it was, a, it was a war memorial, and they brought the Leighton School of Art yes. from Leighton Ave into this building. So we're standing on what's called the pedestal. Yes. The art museum is always in the base so when Sarnen concepts this, these are all offices for veterans organizations above. You have to be a veteran organization to be in these offices originally, uh -huh. Uh -huh. overlooking the freedom of speech, the freedom of expression. Mm -hmm. That's why we go to war. We're not a museum, we're a memorial. However, we, over the years, they've started to add elements of artifacts and, and exhibits. You have World War I and World War II posters, original. They're matted and framed. This is the storytelling of what they were doing at one of the darkest times of more modern history. We've just recently added Wisconsin's first permanent Medal of Honor exhibit. And we're telling the story of Wisconsin's 64 recipients going back 160 years. We wanted to tell that story not only to tell the story of someone who did something of incredible heroism, but it's to inspire. Yes. And of course we have our honor roll, which we're standing next to right now. Yes. And you have the names etched of Milwaukee County residents who've been wow. killed in action since World War II. Yeah. Each of these names, they're lost. When they're killed in action, you're killed that, at that right. time, you're lost. Right. But these, if the, the day they can no longer speak the name again, they call it the second time you, you're lost. Mm -hmm. Because we want to make sure that you always remember these individuals and never forget what they did for us to have our freedom. It's a real Milwaukee gym, isn't it? It's incredible.